What's up guys, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be explaining the differences between container services and scripting services inside Roblox Studio. I think this is especially important to learn about in scripting because when you use scripting services, it's important to know the difference just between those and even the container services. So let's get right into what the container services actually are. The container services are all the different services that you see inside of your Explorer right here. You have workspace, players, lighting, so on and so forth, replicated storage, you know, all these different services. Each one has different properties, different all sorts of things to them, but they all act pretty similarly in the fact that they're almost like a container or a filing cabinet. Each one of them holds different items, such as the player service will hold all the players, lighting will hold everything you need for lighting, material service will hold everything you need for materials, and so on and so forth, like the workspace is everything that you can see basically. That's pretty much a container service. But now let's get into scripting services. I'm just gonna go over to server script service right here and insert a script and it's important to know that scripting services are like tools that help you to create custom behaviors or even actions inside of your game. The best way I know how to think about it is that you can think of them sort of like different instruments inside of a band. They'll play different notes and keys and each of them have a different role to create beautiful music. I'm going to show you how you actually uh, reference a service inside of a script. So you start off with the keyword local like you'd create any variable and you typically give the name of the service itself. Like tween service, this is a common one. This one's used to basically animate parts that aren't rigged. And this is gonna be equal to game. Now game is what all of these different container services are inside of, but not just the container services, it's everything in our experience. All of these scripting services, all the container services, everything that exists inside of our game is going to be found inside of game. So game colon get service. We use this little built-in function right here to get a specific service and it takes quotation marks and here you can see there are all the different services that you can do. You can scroll through any of these and just see how many there are. You can see there's an absolute ton of different services, each one doing a completely different thing. However, up at the top we have tween service. So this is how we actually get a service. And you'll notice now that if we say tween service, we now have the ability to use the functions and events that we can with tween service, such as create. And I believe that's really the only one with tween service. There are a few other ones we can get, such as user input service. And this one is going to be equal to game get service, user input service. This one, it's this one's used to handle all the different input inside of your game that you could use for your players. And so yeah, that's how we use scripting services. I probably will go over more in-depth tutorials on these specific services because there's a lot that you can do with them. However, this is just how you reference services. And I figured this would be really good to learn at the start of the advanced series because we're going to be needing a lot of these for what we're going to be getting into. So once again, just to make this clear, container services, all the ones inside of the Explorer, hold game objects and data and all sorts of stuff. Once again, they act as sort of like a filing cabinet, container, even an organizer for various elements inside of your game. And scripting services like user input service, tween service, HTTP service, which is another one. These ones provide tools and functions for creating your basically custom behaviors and interactions inside of your game. So that's about it for services inside of Roblox Studio Scripting. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this tutorial helped you guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.